Oh my gosh, how's it going everybody? It's Jason here from RealtorVision.com and I've got a lot of stuff to cover and you don't have a lot of time. So I'm gonna try to make it really brief and as effective as possible so that this weekend you can take a little bit of time and set up some of your new defaults, build some packages, connect your Stripe and get yourself ready for pay to download and let your customers experience our all new delivery site. So let's get started and uh, you're gonna need like maybe 20 minutes for this. This video won't be 20 minutes long, but you're gonna need about 20 minutes to set all this up. Maybe a little bit longer, depending on how much coffee you've had. All right, so here we go, let's get started. Okay, one of the very first things that we've implemented, I mentioned it a few weeks back, I don't know if you caught it, but uh, you wanna go to your settings. Start visiting your settings on a regular basis and look for things down here to pop up because stuff is lighting up as we get. The scheduling stuff is the next stuff you're gonna see, but there's still a lot to uh, be done on the payment collection side. We've got it to the point where you can actually pay to download and set up all your packages, connect your Stripe. One of the other cool things that we did to, that really makes the, the, the delivery site pop is the media. Go to your media and now you can tell the system how you want it to handle your aspect ratio. At Blue Lava Media, I set all of my stuff to keep it the same aspect ratio. That means if my, my team is shooting 3-2 uh, and my drone team is shooting 16-9, it's gonna keep it the, the interior photos 3-2, the drone footage 16-9. So make sure you do that. You don't have to copy mine by any means, but you do what you wanna do. I'm gonna recommend keep original aspect ratio for both of those settings. So that means that you're gonna flip this from 16.9 to keep the same aspect ratio as your original photo and then thumbnails. And this is thumbnails throughout the system. Alex is gonna be making a nice video on how all this works. But essentially what this does, let's take a look here. All right, what this does is it's going to keep the aspect ratio on your property websites, your gallery, your delivery page uh, so that the entire photo will show up in the proper aspect ratio. So you're gonna notice that it actually stacks these a little differently, but you're seeing the full photo and it will start to look better and better as you are uploading your new productions with those settings. So there's the property site. Let's take a look at links, deliverables. Let's look at the new delivery site. Uh, a lot of changes here, by the way, I will be covering just a little bit. Links, photos, videos, traffic reports, all that stuff. You've got the option now to download a couple different sizes, which is really sweet. We'll touch on that in a bit. Your videos are now uh, gonna show up with a nice little play button. That's huge, so you can differentiate between your photos and your video clips. But you will you can see how this kind of stacks them according to their aspect ratio. So that's all new. Check out those settings when you have an opportunity. That's again under settings and media. So be sure to do that. Today I wanna show you guys how to set up your pay to download. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go into settings and go to your online payment settings. Right now we only support Stripe. The other ones are gonna light up real soon. So you're going to want to sign up and set up. Get that configured once you're done. You're gonna have a publishable key and a secret API key. Dump both of those in, hit save. You are now ready to take money into your account, which is a good thing. So uh, the next thing I want you to do after you get your Stripe set up, Time to set up your packages and your add-ons. Now for me, what I did at Blue Lava Media, I have a lot of packages and I've got a lot of add-ons. I took my primary packages and I built them into the system. I've got my Premier Drone Tour, Highlights Drone Tour, the Full House, the Deluxe. Um, and I, you know, at Blue Lava, we've recently gotten rid of the basic. I am not completely done. Admittedly, it's been insanely busy. I have, um, but these are my only packages right here. The rest of my life is add-onville. So I've got the exposure engine, a long add-on drone, a short add-on drone, social media video file, interior drone fly-through. So you're gonna wanna set these up. You can start setting up your packages and your add-ons today. So let's take a look at how I determined what was a package and what was an add-on. All right. Now we're over to my website here and you can see that on my pricing page, I've got my main packages. So most of you are going to fall into this category. Most of you are going to have a main photo package, main photo package, a photo video package, 
And then, as you can see, I've got this big line here. After that is all my add-ons. These are, would you like fries with that burger today, sir or ma'am? And so we sell a lot of fries at Blue Lava Media, and uh, fries make the world go round. The uh, packages are essentially the packages, and your add-ons are anything else that falls outside of that main photography photo package. One of the things with the packages and the add-ons right now is you're unable to set the add-on still photos. For example, you can see with our, our deluxe package, we can add on 10, 15, 20 still photos, okay? And so right now with the packages and add-ons, you cannot do that. That will be coming out in our next push, which I believe is on the... 20th of this month, you will be able to set up packages like. You're also going to have access to really snazzy icons like this. So I did post this icon bucket back in the system for you guys so you can populate your system with these really pretty generic icons. And uh, these are not going to be posted on the RTV site anywhere. These are just for you guys, and you'll soon be able to select them right out of your package maker. So if you missed that on Facebook, Go ahead and download it. It's yours to keep. And uh, RTV built those so you guys could have some really nice add-ons uh, and package icons for your packages and your online ordering system. One of the things that is important to note, though, is that the system will not support any variable items like uh, the stills here or, for example, I cannot set up my property lines because I've got three options. I've got, but you will soon be able to do that. Right now, those you'll add in as an extra expense after you punch in the order for your client. So we've got a little ways to go until the, those variables are in there, but we're getting very close. And here's another one, like the Zillow 3D Home Tour add-on is based on square footage. You will be able to set up Zillow and make it change based on the square footage they punch in. So that is right around the corner and coming soon. So for now, what I'd like at least all of you to get set up on though is your primary packages and pick your top add-ons and load them into the system. Once they're loaded in the system, let me show you how to place an order. Again, you're gonna wanna have your payment set up. You are going to want to uh, go to your order settings. This is another important aspect of this. Right now, you can't mess with uh, your, you can't set up the processor steps, the fulfillment, or the final review steps because we don't have those users set up yet in the system. But the, this is your editor, this is your admin staff, so on and so forth. Right now, we're only assuming you have a photographer. So if you don't have a photographer, you can also turn that off. So your default payment collection terms, right now in Fusion, we're all on invoice, right? Most of you are, or all of you are gonna be defaulted to invoice. Um, a lot of you will probably keep it on invoice. Some of you may make your default prepay, if you want everyone to have to prepay before an order is created, or pay to download the photos. So you'll take an order, you'll accept an order, but in order for, to get the photos, they'll have to, to put in a credit card and download and unlock the order. So let's take a look at what it looks like to create a project that is associated with an order. In a couple of weeks, you're going to be able to create a new project and then flip it to an order. Right now, you will need to start out by creating an order. So you'll create a new order and you'll set the payment terms. So we're going to pay to download on this order. Let's uh, take, uh, I'm going to pause here while I fill the rest of this out. Okay, once you've got this filled out, it's pretty, it's pretty quick. The uh, new address auto populate is a huge help. You can put any special notes. Once the scheduling system lights up, they'll you will obviously be able to schedule an exact day, and that is coming soon. So you're going to select an agent. In this case, I will select Jason, the agent, and then you'll select a photographer, and I will select Jason, the photographer. We're gonna select a package and I'm gonna pick this one. It's the only one that I've got an associated add-on with it. So the deluxe package for 125 and we're also gonna get an interior drone fly through. And I'm gonna check that, then I'm gonna hit next. This is where you could add any attachments. For example, uh, property lines or instructions, any other attachments for the order. 
And here on the order, this final page is where you could make any final uh, edits and then you simply submit the order. At this point, the tour is created, the project's created. Once you are here, you're literally ready to upload your photos. So at this point, you, you've you already assigned it to the photographer, so your photographer would upload the photos. Your photographer, let's go ahead and go to the that stage of it. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it and get some photos uploading. Okay, those are finishing up right now. So once your upload is complete and you save and rename and organize your photos and get them exactly the way you want, you can go back to your information page and view your order. At this point, you can literally just mark the photography complete. You could add mileage. So if we wanted to add mileage, for $25 and we wanted to add still photos and still photos times 10, $50 and we'll add that in. So we've got our ex extra expenses and we're gonna mark the photography complete and we'll go ahead and complete the order here which finalizes the project and we can go ahead and click view project. And, and this is all very familiar territory for you at this point. And you're able to then activate the project if you want to, uh, fill in the beds, bath price, square footage, all of your details. So let's go ahead and spruce that up. Okay, when you are ready to send your delivery site to your client, you're gonna to go to your deliverables and the token we've talked about in other videos is located here. You're going to want to go ahead and do your media compile and you can either have it compile based on the scene order, the original file name or scene title, you choose. Hit your compile and you're going to obviously probably resize your photos for your client. I'm gonna also go ahead, I'm gonna compile a 500 by 500 QR code. And uh, I want to give my client the property website. The flyer is not created for this, but I'll give them the QR code. I will give them, um, I don't have a social media video, but I'm gonna give them both the HD zip and the resized any additional links, and I want to enable them, allow them to view the invoice. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Once I am ready and I've decided exactly what to give the client, I can go ahead and preview the page. So once you get to the page, you're gonna notice that uh, there are several ways for your client to pay. Uh, this says pay now, they're not able to really do anything. So they can't edit their information. They can't edit property details. They can't get the link to the property website. They can't view the property website without it taking them to the cart. Thank you, Eric. This is amazing. Anything they click, it tries to go to the cart. So they can't get their links. They can't get their marketing. Everything is locked. See the padlock. I've got the Blue Lava Media uh, logo, watermark on these photos. They can look at the photos. They are watermarked with the, the logo. So the photos are ready to be downloaded. They cannot download the HD photo. They cannot download the resized photo. Everything is locked and ready for them to pay. Once they're ready to pay, they're gonna simply click on any of these, uh, any of the pay now links really, and uh, they would hit continue. They would check out with the name on their card. And once they've paid for it, everything is unlocked. So what I did, I did not put in a credit card on this. I actually went to the order and I applied a manual payment, add customer payment. So that is you are able to manually add a customer payment to the order. And it's real easy to do. But now let's take a look here and we'll take a deeper dive on some of the others. So once it's paid for, they can go to their links. They can check out their marketing. Uh, they can check out their photos. They're able to download an HD photo or a resize photo. I felt it was really important for 
from a user standpoint for them to be able to download both as well as preview them right from here. When we get to videos, uh, as I showed you earlier, the video just plays. They can even add people to the traffic report. Very easy to do right from, right from delivery site. So everything can be edited as you already know from their information, property information, beds, bath, price, square footage, property details. You can adjust what you wanna to give to them. The more you give to them, on delivery site, the more robust that page is gonna be. Now there's no flyer, so I don't know what all this is gonna do, um, but we're gonna just turn everything on and let you take a peek at this. Now, um, one of the things that has been brought up is if, what what if they have you come back and do so? So now look at, look at that. So I'll come back to that thought in just a second, but look at all the links here. We've got marketing. The e brochure, oh, the, notice how the flyer is not showing up because they don't have it created. So that's cool. And all the embed codes. So, all right here, real easy to access. Um, and all of these work real nice. So, the, the links at the top take you right down to the specific area. And it's really been worked over nicely. I, I really like how this came out. Um, but let's talk about applying a payment. So, if you wanted to come back to that order, view order, and even though they're able to access it now, let's add another customer expense. So they added on a drone, okay, for 159, and we'll add that onto it. And so now there's a balance of 159 on this project. So let's go back to the project and go back to deliverables. And notice now it's locked again. So in order to get the next set of photos, which would be the drone photos, if they change their mind, instead of having to go through it all over again and create a new order, you can actually just add a payment to the existing order and they'd have to pay again. So notice the balance now is 159. They can view the invoice, they can print the invoice, and they can pay. So pretty cool. Um, still some things to be worked out, but I, I really hope you like how this is looking, how this is coming along. And I'm gonna have a lot more to report here over the next, certainly over the next couple of weeks. I really wanna hear your stories and how you're using this. And we definitely need to have a webinar. I know it's summer and you guys are so busy. Everybody I talk to says they're so busy. I can't wait to show you some of the new uh, flyers in our Edge Marketing Center. We've got a lot of social media stuff that's gonna be great. As soon as we get through the scheduling and the payment collection, um, that's the next, that's our really next laser focus to just jazz up that marketing section of the delivery site. So it's gonna be pretty sweet. Uh, thanks a lot. I hope you guys have a great weekend and uh, enjoy, stay safe, enjoy the good weather. Appreciate your support. See you guys.